In this recording, we're going to show you how to make a multi-page saddle stitch booklet with a cover that comes from a different tray using the Xerox Color 550. As you see here, this is a multi-page PDF. In this case, it's actually a 20-page PDF. But when I go to do my print and I select my Xerox Color 550 printer, what I want to do is you're going to first see that these the documents are all 8.5 by 11. And we're going to leave this setting as is and go into our properties. Once I've selected my properties, the property screen will pop up and now I'm going to make a couple adjustments. First I'm going to start with layout. Going into layout I'm going to select my booklet option and launch the wizard. Once this wizard pops up I just need to hit next and make my adjustments at each screen. So in this case it's asking me do you want to print on the inside of the front cover. In this case I want to print on the outside and the inside in this particular print. Hit next. Select the size that you want for um, the print sheet. So in this case I'm going to do a 12 by 18 sheet of paper. So it's putting two pages A and B on a single 12 by 18 sheet of paper. And now I'm going to select to define a cover. You do not have to select this option only if you want the cover to be coming from a different tray. So by selecting cover I'm going to make sure that I'm using the bypass tray in this example uh, to pull my cover and I hit next. Um, I really make adjustments here. The only time is if it's a very large booklet and you're going to be trimming the booklet, you might want to adjust the creep, but only if you're going to trim the booklet. It takes uh, it adjusts for the shingling effect. You can see in this picture here, where the inside pages get pushed out on a saddle stitch booklet. Uh, it's rare that you need it, but maybe once you get over a 20-page booklet, starting to get closer to 40-page booklets, that's when you start to need to use creep and hit next and finish. Now I've got a couple adjustments to make. I've already identified that my cover is going to come from tray 5 so I'm going to go to media and identify where the guts or the inside pages are going to come from. So I might say in this case tray 1 um, or whatever other tray I might have available. So I'm going to say tray 1 for my inside guts and now I'm going to go to my finishing tab. Creating a booklet just simply puts the pages in the proper order, but my own by going to finishing, I can actually tell it to staple and fold it. I'd select staple and go to center staple. Even though it's grayed out, all it's going to do is pop up and tell me in order to create a center uh, staple, I've, it, the machine needs to turn on the fold style to booklet, and the output delivery needs to change from face down normal order to face down reverse. Just hit OK, and you'll notice that it already makes those adjustments for you. Um, you can, there's a couple sometimes other adjustments um, if you have a more advanced booklet finisher, but this is the starting point. So now that I have my finishing done, I've already gone through my booklet layout and I've identified my media for the guts is coming from a specific tray. I am now prepared to make that booklet.